Hi guys, if you've picked up one of the Steel Series H, the wireless headsets, then you might be having a couple problems setting it up. Um, the manual gives you the input output connections quite clearly, tells you what to do, so I'll quickly run over those. Um, I ran into problems with the Realtek HD manager, or whatever that's called, so we'll look at that in a second. First of all though, if you're looking at the back of your transmitter, um, you need to make sure that you connect your optical in with the cable provider to the optical out on the back of your PC. So they'll look identical. Um, it can be used either way round. The one in your PC, you should just have one and it will either be on your motherboard or if you've got a sound card, it will connect to that. Um, and it's the optical in that you're connecting it to. Uh, the second thing you need to plug in is the USB. There's only one port on the transmitter and then you plug that into a regular end USB into the back of your PC. And it doesn't matter where you, 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 you plug it in. It doesn't have to be a specific port or a specific type. Um, and that should start your download then for the drivers. And that can take a couple of minutes. I don't know if it's a big file or if it's a slow download um, or a combination of both. But um, once that's installed, you can then go through to your menu on your PC and start to set it up which I'll go through in a second. The other thing you need to set up is on your transmitter you actually need to edit some of your settings on there to make sure it works. So reset it which is in the options if you've already started to do anything. If you have started to do something that's the quickest way. If you haven't you just choose the setting that you're going to be using. So it'll come with PC, Xbox, PlayStation. If you're using the PC in this example so select PC and it will say what is your game audio input well it's not analog it's not USB in it's optical in so just select that and it'll move on to the next one your output um, is the one that's going to um, be connected to the USB so select the top one for that and that will tell it that it's going to use the USB it'll come with a little screen that says um, connect the relevant cables the next thing that you need to make sure that you've done on your menu is if you go to your main menu now select audio which is the first option scroll down your audio you'll see settings like chat mix live mix equalizer and dolby dolby at the bottom needs to be selected as on otherwise it's not going to um it's it's, it's not going to use dolby basically your surround sounds not going to work that setting needs to be selected on there then you can go back to your main menu then we're going to go back onto the pc itself and we're going to tweak some settings which is one of the biggest problems because it's not very transparent in what you need to do go into your control panel um, you need to go to your sound options when you click it you'll open this tab here now you if you've plugged it in correctly you should see that the speakers um, will say a seal steel series H wireless ready and your Realtek digital output will also be registering it that is if you're using Realtek or whatever your digital output is it's probably this if you're using your motherboard um, nine times out of ten this is the one that is going to be causing you the problems anyway um, the speakers it does not need to be the default device and um, you can leave that one as it is but this one needs to be the default device your recording is more easy and um, you just need to make sure your microphone here is set as the default and then in the properties you can go and you can just the, the levels and you can listen to yourself talking through it and, and that setup doesn't really have much of an impact um, one that's causing a problem is this one um, you need to check that it's plugged in and it will tell you here if it's plugged in um, it doesn't matter about any of these other ones, your output obviously um, and some of the enhancements, that's personally up to you that you can leave off. Uh, one thing you do need to make sure that you're doing though is checking that your the settings that you've got will actually be compatible with your headset. Now mine wasn't working at all to begin with and it was kind of by blind luck that I stumbled and just checked this. Some of the uh, options down here will produce either no sound or garbled sound through your headset. So you can have it on the maximum quality. Um, I think there were just two of them that won't work properly. So what I'd recommend is playing some music uh, through your headset and changing these and applying them just to see if they work. So this one definitely works with the Steel Series H. And um, some of them are just obviously they're just not compatible or, or whatever it might be driver issues. Uh, the other thing that you need to check as well is if you go into your sound manager um, you're not playing it through the speakers the stereo mix can be left alone it's your digital output and again the default format should um, be one of these that I've selected and it should be one of the ones that's come through again if you're having any issues check the digital panel as well I hope that sorts out any of the problems that you might be having with it um, if it doesn't leave me a comment below and I'll try and give you a specific fix for whatever your problem is thanks for watching guys